Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XB. I'll bring you another Batman v Superman video, and today what I'm going to be talking about is my speculation slash theories of how I think the Red Hood exists already in the DC Cinematic Universe. Now, I want to preface this by saying that I'm going to be talking a lot about the Batman v Superman trailer, as well as the leaked Suicide Squad trailer, and while I can show you some images and stuff like that from the Batman v Superman trailer, I can't provide you anything from the Suicide, uh, Suicide Squad trailer because it was leaked. So I can't show you anything in the description or anything like that. However, if you make your way online, I'm sure you can find a link somewhere and rumor has it the trailer might premiere tonight So we'll see but let me just get into how I think Red Hood actually exists in the DC Cinematic Universe already So what you've been seeing on screen already is the Robin suit that we saw in the Batman v Superman trailer the burnt Robin suit of course being a reference to the death in the family, how Jason Todd dies and the Joker kills him. Now, there's a lot to notice about the suit. First of all, as I mentioned, it's burnt to a crisp. There's no color left on it. Second of all, we can also mention that the Joker has vandalized it, writing, ha ha ha, jokes on you, Batman. So this definitely alludes to the fact that the death in the family happened at some point one way or another in the DC Cinematic Universe. However, a lot of people are speculating online that it might not be Jason Todd, who's the Robin that dies during the Death in the Family storyline in this universe, but Dick Grayson, for we see Grayson's tombstone in a leaked image for Batman v Superman's set. I don't personally think it's going to be Grayson. I think Zack Snyder's too faithful to the source material and he loves the source material so much that he wouldn't stray so far away from it, especially with the character of the Red Hood. It's kind of essential that he be Jason Todd because it was Jason Todd's personality that transforms him into the Red Hood and that hatred that drives him when he becomes the Red Hood. But yes, a lot of the suit and everything that we see in the trailer, that pretty much confirms that yes, Robin died in this universe and it was the Joker that killed him. So the death in the family, the events of that did happen. Now why I think that Jason Todd himself or Red Hood himself is the one who exists in this universe is because there's another shot in the trailer that shows Batman holding some sort of newspaper that says you let your family die. Now immediately people assume that this was again the Joker writing that. However, we know that the Joker doesn't know Batman is Bruce Wayne. Maybe they've changed that up in this universe, but I highly doubt that. I'm pretty sure that they're going to stick with the fact that the Joker only knows Batman as Batman. He doesn't know who the, who Batman is. He doesn't know that Batman is Bruce Wayne. So there's only a, one other person who would go after Bruce Wayne personally like this, and that, of course, would be Red Hood. I think that Batman v Superman is planting a lot of seeds, not only for Justice League, but for the solo Batman film, and maybe even the solo Superman film. There's a lot of world building being done in Batman v Superman, so I can totally see them setting up the Under the Red Hood storyline for the Batman solo film. We also know that Ben Affleck is directing the Batman solo film, and Jeff Johns is co-writing the script, so you can certainly expect some comic book stuff being implemented into that movie. So I certainly expect that Red Hood is going to be the center of the Batman solo movie. However, that's just me speculating and theorizing uh, there's no confirmation there's no solid evidence but what from from what I'm providing you in this video I do think that Red Hood exists in the DC Cinematic Universe and we are getting those seeds planted especially through this trailer from what we saw of the Robin suit and of this newspaper saying something about Wayne Tower being destroyed and having the writing you let your family die written all over it like I said it just couldn't be Joker unless the Joker knew that Batman was Bruce Wayne and now the last thing that I wanted to mention from the uh, Suicide Squad trailer that I told you that I couldn't provide any pictures from but in the Suicide Squad trailer the last scene is of Joker and oh my god first of all it's so freaking cool Jared Leto as the Joker is gonna be absolutely awesome but besides that you can clearly tell that he is torturing someone and Batman does appear in the Suicide Squad film why does he appear why is he going after the Joker sure he goes after the Joker regularly if because Joker is just escaping from jail and whatnot However, I think there may be a little more to it and some more world building and seeds being planted from David Ayer in the Suicide Squad film. And I think, speculating, theorizing here, that the torture scene we see in the Suicide Squad trailer is going to be the Joker killing Jason Todd or Robin. What do you guys think? Let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments section below. Do you think that I'm kind of correct on my theory and speculation here? Or do you think I'm just way off? Let me know everything you think in the comments section below. I'm CabooseXBL. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.